Alright, so good morning everyone, welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're starting things at the night time, which is very different around here. I always like to start an episode when it's bright, it's sunny, to really signify that good morning. Today, it's Monday, the start of a brand new week, I'm really excited about that. But the reason we start at night time is because we have a bunch of farming to do, and that farming is going to be Skeletron. In the last episode, we did beat Skeletron, but we did not get the special weapon, and I really want to get it. We have a lot of things that we need to do today, so I'm going to try and do a couple of jump cuts here and there. We'll see how it goes. Firstly, I made a change. Some of you with amazing vision may be able to notice that I swapped out the paint down here for deep paint, which I did not know was a thing in Terraria until you lot left me a comment about it. And this is why I took the comment so seriously. Last night, I clicked on yesterday's episode on my mobile phone because I wanted to read the comments. Now, usually when I read comments, it's either on a laptop or an iPad or a computer, never on a tiny little display because I don't have a giant phone. Anyway, I realized how small the video is when you're reading the comments, and I was like, I cannot see any of these on my phone. So, that's for you, mobile gang. You're welcome. Please enjoy. Right, Skeletron time. So, yeah, this is gonna be... Well, it's interesting because this is not exactly gonna be easy. It's still gonna be hard. The only thing we have to our advantage now is we can buy Wrath and Rage potions. So, I will say that does help out a little bit. But yeah, we're going to be cracking on with Skeletron to start today's episode. I am a little bit worried about my performance during this fight. I'll tell you why. Basically, oh, I didn't grab a shine. Ah, oh, right. Sorry, mobile gang. <laughs> you know, one in, one out. Yeah, I, I tried. Anyway, moments before recording this, I uh, I was trying to make a, a fancy cup of tea in my, my glass teapot. And I was cleaning out the... Well, I was re-washing the metal part in the middle of the glass teapot because... I like it being fresh. Anyway, I cut my finger. And I cut the finger I used to, to click on my mouse with. So I've had to, to like, bandage it up because it's a deep gash. <laughs> so so that's what's going on. All right, let me crack on with this. Like I said, I'm going to try to use some jump cuts today. And also because this fight is so dark, I don't think anybody wants to watch it. All right, did we get the weapon? Let's have a little look. Uh, No, we did not. All right. A little bit of a shame, but... um. But yeah, you, you, it doesn't reset the night time anymore. Um, I failed the first one, <laughs> just to be clear. All right. Uh, yeah, no no weapon, unfortunately. But that's all right. Um, so we go again. The thing is now is I have to be quick with these refights, basically. So I'm just going to quickly flog all the stuff that we don't need for now and crack on from there. One thing I should say is because today is... Well, because we've now got the chance to go to the dungeon... One thing that's going to be a little bit different than what I usually do is we're going to need to make sure we get every little bit of dungeon loot. Whereas normally I, I wouldn't even bother. Normally I would just be like, I, it doesn't matter because of the fact that, um, well, you don't need half the dungeon loot in reality. But in this series, because of all the enchantments and stuff, we'll probably need it at some point. All right, so let's see if we get the weapon. And I think we have. <laughs> I think that might be it. Wow. The bone zone. Okay. 13 ranged damage. 18% critical strike chance. Uh, uses bones for ammo. Oh, okay. All right. So I think, we, I think we know where we're going next. Why did I take this off? At what point did I... What? When did I take this off? Oh my God. How long has that been off for? I have no idea. I don't know when I took that off. Anyway, it's a miracle we won. Well, it's only... I guess it's only five defense. <laughs> well, there we go. All right. Awesome. 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 Uh, let's sell, then, uh, a bunch of this stuff. i tell you what we're going to do is every time we get a lockbox, we'll, we'll keep the lockbox, but everything else will we'll flog. I'm not too bothered about the rest. Uh, we don't need these, for example. Wait, do we need one of these? No, we've already got one, so we can sell that. Uh, sell the trophy material. Okay, right. We should, we've should. we got to be careful of what we sell here. <laughs> we could we could regret a lot of these decisions. All right, somebody's going to look back on this one day and be like, James, 
Why did you sell this in the first five seconds? Didn't you know that that was needed for the ultimate thing? So, you may remember that in a previous episode, I was talking about this mega accessory. And people asked me, why didn't I make it yesterday? It's because we need these. Deviating energy. Now, what I believe this is from... We don't have Hellstone. We, we should get Hellstone. But what I believe this is from is this boss right here. The Deviant. Spawned by using a Deviant's Curse. So, to my understanding, I may be wrong. Alright, correct me if I am. I don't mind. I don't think I've ever fought this boss. If I have it, it doesn't stand out. So, that being said, let's have a little look at how it's made. And we'll see if maybe we can do it. Because what, what, what we can always do is we can go to the dungeon, go get some bones, and then we can um, use this against it. So, we need this. Oh, okay, right. Crimson Corruption. So, the summoning device is gel, a lens, a vertebrae, a stinger, and a hellstone bar. All right, we can get all of that. We can probably do that right now. But no, we'll, we'll do the dungeon thing first, and then that's out the way. So... Let us teleport there, because look at us. We're amazing. Now that we've unlocked basically, like, all of the potions and stuff, things get a little bit easier from here. So I am still dedicated to, um, to hopefully, hopefully, I, I do want to get uh, all of the permanent buffs at some point. So I, I do think I'll, I'll put that on the list of things that we want to do, maybe at least before, before we even go into hard mode. We have all of the permanent buffs, and then we never have to worry about it again. Oh, tell you what, what I was actually going to do in here is I was going to equip these uh, Skeletron hands. Because we want to, you know, kind of slap these enemies around a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's just, let's gather up a, a whole bunch of bones and we'll go from there. So I don't think, I don't think I gave this housing update. Every, every single day now, I, I go to the house. <laughs> like I say, because they moved the, um, the security fence, I can see it whenever I want to now. I don't have to, to be around a bunch of builders and all that. So I, I basically just go every day. The latest update, once again, can't remember if I said it. Um, there is now guttering on the house. So the black part around the roof that collects all the leaves and water, stuff like that. So I've got to, I've got to deal with guttering. Hey, did I just, did I just pick up a water bolt? Did I get a water bolt from an enemy then? That was a little bit strange, that. So we, we have that little effect, don't we, that sucks in items from the uh, iron enchantment. Oh, it's goofy. That's goofy. All right, okay. Loads of enemies down here. This is good. Maybe too many enemies, actually. Never mind. Okay, I'll, I'll work on this one. I do really like... Whoa, okay, okay. That reminds me of, like, so many modded water bolts I've had in my life. Yeah, th this is this is interesting. The Skeletron hands are awesome. So I'm a big fan of that. I'm, I'm scared to change weapon, but I'm gonna. Right, so this is the weapon that we got. All right. Oh, it fires out bones. It's kind of like a bone glove. Is it a better bone glove? I don't really know, to be honest. It's kind of hard to, to tell the balance in. It might be one of those things that's, like, really good for single targets. It might be one of those things that are really good for... Multi-targets? I don't know. Makes an interesting sound, actually. Makes the sound of munching, you know? <laughs> it's an alright weapon. To be fair, I can't... Whoa! I got killed by a baby guardian. Wow. So if I remember right, last time I came here, I don't think they had all of these random weapons. Like, random enemy... <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. I don't think they had special effects on any of these enemies. So that's kind of interesting. Right, let's try out the weapon up here. Let's see if it's any good. It's all right. It's all right. Is it amazing? It's all right. <laughs> I want to give it a reforge. I know I haven't reforged many weapons in this series, but I feel like this is one that that might actually need one. I don't know what's going on, but my neighbor has just started construction out of nowhere. So if you can hear that, I apologize. I tell you what, that's going to be one thing that we're all going to have to get used to, is when I move... Um, the area where I'm going to live is going to be a bit of a building site for a little while. So, <laughs> so I might have that. I might have to, to change the microphone so that, um, so that you can't hear it constantly. Because that will be a thing. Okay, did we just take an invisibility potion? I think we did. Alright. Let's go back down here then. Let's, let's get farming again for more stuff. 
I feel like right now I am leaning towards the, the Queen Bee weapon, mainly because of the fact that getting the darts does not take as long as getting the bones. But then again, you kill a whole bunch of enemies, you get a lot of bones. So I'm, I'm kind of torn on that. Also, we do have the Water Bolt. And we could always use the Water Bolt for a little bit. We could always kind of tag team the two. Yeah, the Water Bolt is clearly way better. It is. It's, it's night and day versus that weapon, to be honest. So it's like... Hmm, I don't know if I'll be using it fully. Oh, this is good to have. I'll take that. So we got a bewitching table now. So we can have an even longer long boy. Great. Right, I really want to give this the benefit of the doubt, this weapon. I, w I really want to try it out more. I think it's just going to be better when we have like a whole bunch of bones. So that I can fire it um, indefinitely and not really have to, to worry about it. Man, that wheel is a little bit larger, I think. <laughs> that, that does not look right to me. All right, I'll take that. That's the um, the Aqua Scepter, right? Very nice. Oh, little Guardian. I feel like the Water Bolts is going to be better in here. I'm, I'm going to stick to this for a bit. So I've come to realize that those tiny Dungeon Guardians can't actually be destroyed. You just have to kind of move out the way. I think this might actually be the hardest form of the dungeon I've ever been in. And this is like post 1.4 with all the, the extra traps and stuff. This is really hard. Like, I feel like I'm getting absolutely stomped in here. Farming for the bones is a little bit annoying, I will say. I, I wonder if there is a, another way to get bones. Like, maybe the um, the clothy ear might sell them or something. That wouldn't surprise me, considering, you know, one of the special weapons is, you know, a big bone bazooka. I would prefer that, in all honesty. Because I know full well that once I'm done farming here today... Once I run out of those bones, I'm not going to be coming back here for, for more bones. All right, so checking in, uh, just have a little look at the hall. I did go back home and deposit a whole bunch of stuff, but we have a cobalt shield. We've got the Nazar, so they're like... The Nazar is, is essential, I imagine, to this mod, because it's just one of those accessories. I'm assuming that they've cranked up the, the drop rate for it, though. Uh, we also got a tiny clothy ear, which is like the most adorable thing. I barely ever get these. I'm serious about that. Like, I feel like they're so actually quite uncommon. I don't know what the drop rate even is, to be honest. But I feel like I go multiple Let's Plays without ever getting one. It's it's too cute. It is. It's too cute. Um, Yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm going to linger around in here, to be honest. I just want a good amount of bones. I sound like a serial killer. I, <laughs> I just want... A good amount of bones, all right? So I can make my bones stew. Now, I, I just want a lot of them to... You know, I, I want a lot so that we can use it on the, the next boss fight, basically. We also need to go get some more stingers, and we need to get some hellstone bars. And then we got a new boss, which I'm really excited about, honestly. I like that this is vanilla remixed, but I feel like a lot of you are going to really enjoy seeing something a little bit different. All right, then. I'm going to head back, I feel like. Um, the good thing is... Is we do have some some golden lock boxes to uh, to check out. All right, so let's deposit all that. Right click to open requires a golden key. So I don't think I've ever I don't think I've ever actually used one of these. Like seriously, like in all my years of Terraria. So, bam, we got a blue moon. Very nice. We got a shadow king. Also very nice. Got another aqua scepter, and then I can't open the rest. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so we got all that. Uh, what we need to get now then is the stingers and the hellstone bars. So I don't know. It's been forever since we've mined. I don't think I have an area even near hell. Wow. That is kind of bad, to be honest. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? Like, I've never actually committed to going down to the bottom. Wow. Okay. Right. I'll grab a mining potion then and uh, we'll get on that. So, one of the things I forgot to grab is obsidian potions. So, I'm, I'm hoping that Hell's generation is going to be favorable to us. Oh, there's the obsidian. All right, I need to... I do actually need to grab that. I don't think we're going to get a lot of chances to get obsidian. So, this should do it. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. I don't think we actually need all that much. I think it's only like... Was it one bar to, to spawn it in? I think it was. That's why I don't, I'm not too worried about this. We just need to, to get into hell and we need to survive. All right. Knowing Fargo's soul mod, what can we expect? Probably a million fire imps. But they don't just like throw fireballs. Those fireballs also turn into lava. 
I am really excited for, for the Moon Lord. For those that don't know, um, I think the running gag with the last Fargo series is that everything had a Moon Lord laser, something like that. I think that was it. Because when we got to the Wall of Flesh, the Wall of Flesh has a giant Moon Lord laser. And a fun little fact is... Uh, when, when we made the T-Mod Loader trailer, I wanted to incorporate a little part of, of all the series of Chippy's Couch, the mods I know best, because I really did feel like how I wanted to make the trailer is by presenting every mod I knew so that I could present it in the best way. And we have a small clip of the player avoiding or getting hit by the, the Moon Lord laser by the Wall of Flesh. So that's why, like, um, yeah, that's why that scene is in there, because it always stuck with me. So I'm, I'm kind of nervous about that. I have a, well, to be fair, I think it's probably changed now. Because so much of what we've done is, is changed. A lot of the final phases, which I didn't really enjoy, have kind of been altered. I really like the new Eye of Cthulhu. I love the final phase for that. I love the, the satisfaction of learning the AI. Or being guided to learn the AI. I thought that was really fun. Uh, Skeletron's final phase is so much better than it used to be. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, still challenging, but you, you know, it's, it's not, you know, it's not impossible. And then what else has been changed? I really do like King Slime as well. I don't feel like King Slime was anything like what we thought originally. So I'm excited for the Wall of Flesh. Will it have a Moon Lord laser? We're gonna find out. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, let's see about these fire imps. <laughs> Any lava to be seen. Okay, right. So, we're gonna be careful because we do burn. So one of the things we do need is this right here. She is mate. Uh, I will get rid of those. No, I'll get rid of those. Okay, we need to, to quickly grab whatever we can. Um, oh, this reminds me. I installed a bootleg Chippy's couch. We're burning still. Now, I'm assuming we're burning because we're here. Yeah, on fire. Great. Absolutely amazing. Thank you, Fargo Soul Mod. Yeah, I installed a, a bootleg Chippy's couch mod. The adds in Chippy's couch for 1.4. And I never mentioned it. I never spoke about it. And I yeah, just not acknowledged it. So we'll we'll have to make that at some point. I don't even know how to, to make it. In all honesty, I, don't, I do not have a clue. Okay, I'm going to try and grab uh, just as much Hellstone as possible real quick. This is not meant to be like the main Hell Pursuit. It's more just a quick drop off. So that on fire effect, do we need to... Um, Will that just always happen in hell, or do we just need to always have an obsidian skin? Is that the deal? I have no idea. It was probably a thing back in the day. I, just, I can't remember, <laughs> if I'm being honest. All right. Bam. Let's grab all that. Uh, let's go down here. Also, I was talking about Midsummer Murders in the last Let's Play, or in the last episode. And so many of you are like, yep, Midsummer Murders. My, my mom or my dad is addicted to it. Very relatable. All right, it's a, it's a very common thing around here. Right, we want to save onto that. We want to dump that in there. We want to get uh, Hellstone bars. So we'll make up a whole bunch of these. So we've got 33, which is like more than enough for what we needed. So let's get out all the ingredients. So we need, um, oh, <laughs> I activated that. All right, so we need a lens. So we need lens. Uh, we need gel, which I do have. I've got gel. Uh, we need the stingers. And what else? Oh, we need the, the vertebrae. So vertebrae. And I think this all made it a demon altar. Right. I'm going to skip the knight. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to speak to my main man over here. Hello. Uh, sell me a jungle one. Bam. Right. I'm going to go quickly grab the stingers. And then we'll make the, uh, the summoning device for the boss. All right. So that is probably enough stingers. So I was going to do this fight today. I was going to like... You know, just, like, do it all in a wanna, basically. Like, do the farming for Skeletron. Do the farming in the dungeon. Do this. But I think I'm going to save this for tomorrow. I feel like this deserves its own episode. I don't, I don't want to rush it at the end. And I've been recording for a while today. So, uh, that being said, if you do have any, like, tips for this fight, if you write them down and mark it, like, spoiler, what I'll do is I'll ignore it. <laughs> I'll ignore it when I'm reading the comments tonight. But then I'll come back. If I start to struggle in the fight in the middle of the episode or something like that, that works out. I don't know. Uh, but that about does it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful Monday. And I hope that the week is great. I'm excited for, for this week. I'm trying to think if, if I'm actually doing anything good. I don't think I am. 
<laughs> I'm just living life. All right. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.